Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Vitro from Cindy Knapp. Now, this is one of the recent um, releases from, uh, from TanglePatterns.com, and I really like this one. All right. It's a grid pattern, but you know what? I kind of, I'm going to just, I'm going to do the single box, but I kind of like it just as the, the single box. All right. So, well, let's do, we'll do the outer box. What am I here? Uh, the 005. We don't want that one. Okay. So let's do that outer part of the box. There we go. Okay. Then now on the inside, we're going to put a diamond. So, uh, you know, looking at it square, we're putting a diamond. I was almost going to do it this way. Although if I did it this way, I can just, I'm not going to think, I'm not thinking that way. I'm going to say I could just do a box, but <laughs> I don't know why I have this feeling it's going to mess me up. And this, have it be a little bit like curved in, well, maybe not that much, but okay, since we're going that way, let's do that. You decide because the next step, and it doesn't matter you know, like how curved or even if you, if you end up doing it flat, the next step, you can just kind of mush it into whatever you have. All right, I'm going to see if I, on my version of the step out, and I didn't realize it till I was done, I really curved these bottom edges. It still looks fine, but I'm going to see if I can make them a little more, the bottom edge, this part a little more straight. Okay, so we're going to do a big, it's a big loop, or like you could think of it as a lowercase e. Um, it's a curve line going into another curve line is what it is. So coming in, you know, you decide how far, you know, it's kind of like a finger's width. Or maybe if you think of it as, oh, maybe a quarter of a way up, just to eyeball. And of course, it doesn't matter. So we're going to come here. We're doing a loop. So I'm aiming for that edge coming up and around and then down trying to keep this you know as like a nice box here again it doesn't matter so whatever happens happens all right and do i want to do this on each corner And really, <laughs> try not to think about it too much. That's what I'm trying to do right now. <laughs> not think about it too much. <laughs> and I tell you, even just stopping after this one, it's a really neat pattern. It reminds me of something else. And I want to say it's a Zentangle pattern. <sighs> Is it OOF? Oh, like O-O-F. Something like that. I'm going to have to look it up, but it, it was really reminding me, you know, of that. Uh, just the fact that we have a diamond and then we're, you know, we're putting, I think on that one, maybe it was orbs. I don't remember. I'm going to have to look it up. Um, but anyway, there we go. Next step. Now, if, if reading uh, what Cindy wrote in, um, you know, in the entry there on Tangle Patterns, she said step four is is kind of a hint. I think it's a really good idea. It's a really good hint. Um, and so what she has us doing is we're going to, we're going to aura like all the way, excuse me, around the perimeter. And what I think is good about it, let's see if I can do this so you can see my hand at the same time. Uh, sort of, there we go. All right. So pick a distance and we're going to aura, right? And then leave a, oh, that's not much of a gap. Leave a little more gap than that, you know, more, you know, like this, bef you know, before and after your lines. You know, the, the lines that are there. And if that throws you too much, then just do the whole thing. Because what we're going to end up doing is auraing each of these sections. But this is, well, this could be kind of nice, except this kind of sets you up where the aura is the same distance because that's all you're focusing on is just this aura around the outside. Uh, for some of us, it doesn't really matter. We can, you know, have it be, it, it can go wonky no matter what, but, 
Oh, and actually, you know what? Starting it right here or here, not at the corner, might be a great idea because it just occurred to me, because as I was as I was playing with it, I love it when I do this because then it's like, oh, wait, I could have done... <laughs> I, I, I think of things while I'm doing this. Because um, then you can line up. Because see, like this distance is a little different than this, but I can still line them up this way from the corner better than if I because what I had been doing is like starting say yeah like at the corner and then here if I if I got off enough it was like well okay I'll try to you know you you, you figure it out and it's okay but you know uh, some of it is just uh, what's the best chance for course correction no matter what goes wrong that's how I'm looking at it all right so once you have that then just aura whatever the um the contour that you have here. And again, you don't have to do th that step four. You could just move right into this and do each of these sections. Completely up to you. Because I... And I say that frequently because we all work differently. And it's about making sure that, you know, you do what works best for you. And that's it. All right. And there we go. Looks neat. Now, I did notice one thing in the, um, and do take a look at the For More Inspiration link. So in Cindy's sample, she had, I mean, all of this, but also, because I thought it was a little weird, she didn't have an aura in her step out. So I just went ahead and added that as in my step six. It's just to aura that inside, because I think it fits so nicely. And, all you know, it's all options anyway. You know, and decorating however you want to do it. You get the gist. And then, and then... Decorating, shading time, however you, whatever you want to end up doing with it. Now, here's what I am thinking. I really liked, uh, I can't tell exactly what she did, but I kind of like the idea of, let's put an orb in here. She thickened these lines, you know, in the center, you know, and, and kind of kept an orb. And I thought, oh, that's kind of neat. So I just put an orb in and then filled in the gaps. And then I'm thinking... Because I think it's such a neat, a neat concept, and I don't do it enough. I think I'm going to keep this this direction because I really like it when I see people do this, where they just thicken one side, like so. And oh, let's just do the insides. And I am just going to—I'm picking a side. I'm turning the tile, and I'm going to do the same side. In the Zentangle, we generally we don't worry about light source or anything like that um you can just pick a side and stick to it and don't worry about it there are some things like uh, zen bossing and there are you know some effects if you understand it and want to do it great if you want to figure it out that's great um but don't don't get you know too completely hung up about it and see that still looks neat it doesn't matter and i was also i was thinking well golly i could do I don't know if I want to do the other the other parts or not, but I'm thinking let's just do some shading. It's just like I said, it's I like it like how it makes a whole, you know, it just gives it some some depth. But let's do this. Let's uh, at least on this big section. Well, we could do on all of them. Let's see what it does. And just adding well, and I can I can always change it up. Okay, this one. I got these neat little, very, you know, uh, thin tortillons, but the tips, wait, let me just click it and we'll see if that fixes. But it gets this one, I've had a couple of them that have done this where the tip gets all floppy. And there we go. That helped. And if it's flopping around, then it's getting, it's getting me into trouble then. 
and it's putting graphite where I don't want it. Ooh, that looks neat. Okay, let's do that to all of those and then maybe to those other ones. I don't know yet. But this makes for a neat reticula where you can do whatever your heart desires in them. Um, she mentions, uh, you know, looking like uh, stained glass. I think that's where the name came from. And um, I like that. I like that too about it. It's just really, really neat. Oh, the light. See, look at the depth of that. <sighs> so cool. I was partly thinking, well, gosh, yeah, because I like to put line, you know, like just straight lines in sometimes, but I wasn't. I was. I was thinking it, but then I'm like, yeah, it just wasn't, wasn't, wasn't feeling it. <laughs> and just go with your gut. Go with the pen and the pencil tells you to do. <laughs> do what your tangle tells you to do. Just don't tell anyone else that your tangle is talking to you. It's okay if they come and take me away as long as they let me take my tangle supplies then I'll be all right <laughs> uh, okay that looks neat I don't know I'm thinking those corners should do the same thing yeah okay let's do it this because it's smaller I just have to be a little bit more careful and let me do <laughs> the way I talk about, which is not, uh, oh, I could have done that line too, um, where I like to keep the pencil where the, where I want it the darkest or where I don't want to go over and same thing with the torch hand. But here I broke my, I, I broke my, I break my rules frequently. It's all good. Then we'll flip it. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Love that. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. All right. What a fun tangle. And, you know, you know, imagining it in a, in a bigger grid, but like I said, I kind of like it just as a solo act where, you know, you, this would be your feet could be your feature and then you do other things around it. Um, how neat. How neat. All right. And how do you like my new piece of paper? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. What's it? Today is, uh, uh, well, I, I'm doing this later than normal. It's the 13th of March. So we'll see how long it takes before I, before I get it, uh, disasterized. All right. Um, well loved really. All right. So if you enjoyed this and I hope you did, please click on the like button. And if you liked it enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. So go ahead and click that as well. In the description section, I mentioned links to the step outs. Uh, below those is my link tree. So that uh, will connect you to um, my website, social media. Um, I want to highlight, uh, so there I have, there's a couple uh, links for places where I post classes. I also post them on Facebook. Now you can go to my website and you can see the classes that I do um, for the free classes that I do. I do keep the links there just by the way, because but if you want notification and reminder, then go to the one of the one of the places uh, that I have listed or uh, on Facebook and follow me and you know follow the classes there um, until I get something set up on the website that will uh, you know like a registration type of thing. Uh, which someday I'll get that done. Um, then let's see. Um, and, and by the way, I do the class I do, uh, I teach two days a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I do two sessions on those days. Uh, I'm in Michigan. So I do them 11 AM, 7 PM and the same content both times. It's just some different people because we have a lot that come to both and, uh, same content, but, uh, you know, we try different things. It's just a heck of a lot of fun. We could, I, I was debating on waiting uh, with this, but I have some other ones that I want to do, um, uh, on the 
the Tangle Time, but this would have been a good one as well. And then we everybody just plays with and we see what everybody comes up with and it's just absolutely amazing and so inspirational um, to see how, you know, how everybody, how creative everybody is. It's just, it's so much fun. All right. Um, so a lot of them are free. Some of them are paid. The ones on Tuesday, except for one, uh, are paid classes or exclusive to my club. Um, I, the membership club so information, there's a link there as well in the link tree. Um, it's just, it's a, like a subscription model, one price, and you get access to all the online classes that I do and the replays and everything. Um, so you take a look at that if it's something that interests you. And, oh, oh, yes. And last but not least that I wanted to highlight, uh, if you would like to hang out with a bunch of Tangle Addicts, we would love to hang out with you. I have a, a private group on Facebook and um, you click the link. There are four questions that you must answer in order to gain entry. And um, and then let the fun begin. So um, a lot of great people. Uh, just It is just a lot of times it's beyond words uh, what a neat group of people uh, we have uh, been collecting gathering over you know the years so it's just really really neat so come and come and join the family all right so with that thank you so much for watching and i wish you happy tangling